everybody, and welcome to the brand new series, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I was streaming when I was doing this series, so if it cuts at random times at the beginning and end of the video, that's because I'm taking the recordings from the stream that I didn't know I was going to turn into a series and upload them to YouTube. So, yeah, the endings and beginnings might be a little weird, but other than that... I think it's a pretty fun series. I think it's funny. And I think the additive of me talking to the chat is hilarious. So, hope you enjoy it. Leave a like. And also, we're so close to three average viewers over at twitch.tv for Gamer 326 So, you could really help me out by just going to the channel, dropping a follow, and watching. It really does help me out. So, if you ever see me live over there, yeah. Give me a little, like, just watch time. That'd be sick. All right. I'll see you guys in a, another video because there's no outro to this video. Bye-bye. Other than that... Real quick chat, I'm just gonna mute myself and take care of my Instagram. Hi, right, Fona. Hi there, Fona. How are you doing? No, I'm not. Okay, good. Uh, sorry, chat. I'm just taking care of my Instagram and other socials while we watch the beginning cutscene play out. I remember this is gonna be my first playthrough of it I, other than the small playthrough I did just to kind of see what it was about and kind of learn the controls and see if I needed to change anything but other than that I watched I don't know if anyone in chat knows about Stampy Long Nose but he did a playthrough on it and I watched like a couple parts of it and I just loved how the game turned out so this will be I've never seen the ending I've never really got I've never seen like the middle part of the game I've only seen why is Link walking Link I'm not touching the controller! Alright, I'm excited to play this. Let's just get into it. Why is the controller all, like, weird? Alright. Huh? Ow! I just rammed my knee into the desk. That's fun. A sh that is a Sheikah Slate. Or a Nintendo Switch, Take whichever it. one you would like to look at it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Bruh. Why you wake me up for my nap? So, yeah, I don't know much about the story. And when I, I didn't... I also didn't go through any of the story portions when I did a small run-through. I completely skipped all the story. So this will be the first time of me reacting to any storylines. I don't know. Am I loud? Am I too loud? I don't know how sensitive this mic is. And I don't want to, like, blow anyone's eardrums out. That would be unfortunate. Oh, whoa, this vibrates. Chest. Old shirt. Yeah, let's get Link a shirt. Oh, wow, 
wow, look how cool I look. <laughs> I look sick. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna go on a brief history. Bring the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. The way to Arby's? Would that show me the way to Arby's? Is there an Arby's in this world? I want an Arby's. <laughs> Authenticating. Ooh, Sheikah Slate confirmed. Sheikah Slate is Zelda confirmed? I know the voice is Zelda. I know that much about that because, like, that's pretty obvious from the start. Link. A what now? An you Arby's. Are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Zelda, I think that's just the sun. Zelda, it's just the sun. Zelda don't know what she's talking about. She saw, like, you're the light. Arby's? It's a food joint. I don't know. I guess people, not everyone will have an Arby's, but it's like a place. It's like a meat place. Why does this do this? On its own. That's weird. Maybe I could break it in. Not break it, but break it in, like, maybe. Oh my god! Never heard of it. Yeah, it's like a sandwich shop. It's like makes, like, it, it makes roast beef. It makes roast beef sandwiches. Okay, yeah, they. Every place is like a fast food place. It's like a. Yeah, I get it. It's a fast food place, but like. It's like a place where they, like, they have sell roast beef sandwiches and cheese melted sliders. It, it's a pretty good place. Oh, there's an old man down there. He's got a white beard. Is this Santa? I thought Santa wore red. Give me, give me a tree branch. Wait. All right. So, there is one thing I learned. When I was doing a quick playthrough, I was just... Now, jump off the cliff. Jump off the cliff. Alright, got it. Will this give me, like, some kind of secret? Is it, like, a secret achievement to jump off the cliff? Yeah, you get an achievement. I get an achievement? Yeah. I do? Yeah. Guys, I get an achievement? Yeah. Alright, here I go. I did it. Yeet! <laughs> Ooh, ten minutes into streaming and I'm already dead. This game's tight. Oh yeah, I got a tree branch. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, what I really wanted to learn when I first I, I played it, I just played it for a little bit. I didn't do much. I played a couple shrines, but what I wanted to mainly learn about it was stop moving, Link, on your own. What I wanted to learn about it is the cooking feature because I knew that was going to be a big thing I should know. So I mainly just learned cooking and I researched on the cooking aspect, and that's it. Yeah, but it's almost it's like oh, like half health, and I don't want it to die while I'm doing this. Oh, then there's a way he's moving on your own. Cause it's almost dead. Yeah. Maybe if I unplug it, it will stop moving on its own. <laughs> oh, well met, stranger. I'd rather unusual Bye. to see another soul in these parts. Mm -hmm. Me, I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has to live here alone for some quite time. What bright eye? What a what brings a bright eyed young man like you to a place like this? I like how I just completely avoid the qu I answer the question with another question. I'm just like old man Pat. I just like how I completely uh. Dodge's question with another question. He's all like, so what brings you here? And I'm all like, where are we? As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you, this is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Ooh, I like Hyrule. Is that Hyrule? I dibs naming him, mm. and I named him Old Man Pat. All right, Old Man Pat it is. We will now, I will say Old Man Pat. 
ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in the state of decay. Yet another forgotten in entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if you if I may be of service. And then Link just like walks away on his own. Can I pick this apple? I beg your pardon, I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go taking whatever you please. He is tall, I don't lie. Oh, forgive me, I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make a selected treat. I've never eaten a baked apple, but I know I've eaten cooked. Like uh, A neighbor a while back made me a cooked papaya. I think it was called. And it was like this banana like treat thing. And I'll tell you, as much of it was, well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? To set things on fire! This is rather, this is rather un unnerving. Please don't be cautious with it around any dry grass that might catch on fire. You know there are plenty of monsters in the area. The torch could make a good weapon if needed be. However, do not just swing it around without a purpose. You must face your opponents and lock sights with them. <laughs> oh, he's scared of me. Good. <laughs> Link. What? Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. No. Okay. I mean, has anyone just not done what Zelda says? If you just not do what Zelda says, what happens? Like, do you just get to stay in this place forever? This is not, this is not a bad place. I can build a house. I got my fireman's axe. I got my fireman's axe. That's a different game. But I got my, I got my woods cutter's axe. I got my apples, and I got old man Pat right over here. It's completely, ha it's completely great. This place is beautiful. This is a beautiful place. Holy! Hello there. Ah! It's the Jello from Jurassic Park. These strange branches suck. Ooh. I got jelly. Can I put it on? That looks like the jelly from SpongeBob. I don't know if anyone's watched that episode of SpongeBob. No, that that jelly's purple, but you know the episode where the jellyfish um SpongeBob gets jelly from the jellyfish and he brings it into work one day and he spreads it on a Krabby Patty and he it's just a good thing and then he ends up fe accidentally feeding it to a customer. And then, like, everyone just raves for it, and then freaking Mr. Krabs just creates this giant sweatshop. Can I capture the butterfly? Oh, I can. A butterfly found in the woods and plains of warm regions. Its wings absorb the warmth of the sun, cook it with a monster parts to create an elixir that makes you feel warm and fuzzy. I want to cook something warm and fuzzy. Oh, I scared that one away. Oh my god, more monsters. Oh no, they found me. Oh no. Well, I really screwed, screwed on this. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Oh no. Got him. Oh, I got a bow! I have a bow with nine arrows. Eleven arrows. What's its skull thing over there? Screw the golden dot! I wanted- I want to see what's over there. What's up? 
What's in the end? Sing, 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 sing. I got him. He did. No, he's not dead. I screwed that up. I think. Did I? I'm getting all this cool stuff. Give me the Boko Plub. Plub. Get a skull chest. Let's go. I got a that thing. Whatever that thing is. I want to go over here though first because I think yeah, there's arrows on the ground. Oh, more arrows on the ground. What are the arrows in here? Oh, I got fire arrows. Alright, I think anything randomly is- does anyone in chat know if anything is randomly generated? Like, or is everything consistent in this game? Whoa. What's this place? This place looks interesting. Tower has been activated. Please watch for falling rocks. What? Tower. Ooh. Ooh. This is exciting. Oh my god, it's a knowledge rock. Sorry, chat. I just had to talk to my dad. Regional map extracted. From the rock? I got data extracted from the rock? Drain the rock, Johnson! Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Try. Try to remember. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. That's a long time to take a nap. Maybe I should have gotten up sooner. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Oh my god, that thing does not look happy. <laughs> I feel like stuff in this game isn't happy. Now then, you must hurry, Link. Trust me, Zelda. I got this. I've Before beaten Majora's Mask. 
I can do it. Don't worry. All of a sudden, you get encountered with this thing. All right. Just, it just literally... All right. Time to defeat Ganon. All right. What? No? Okay. <laughs> Now I'm not gonna kill myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was scary. Whoa! Hey, okay, all right. I've seen multiple people die off this tower. Not me, baby. Watch him die. I didn't though. If you don't, oh, sorry, I get my old man Pat voice. If, if you don't mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Well, now a voice, you say? You might need some. Love seeing a person complete Zelda. By the way, I freaking love. I love just this game I love these games these games are so fun and did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice no oh I see that is unfortunate I assume you can sight of that atrocity is shrouding the castle uh, sorry chat if I have trouble reading some of these one I have dyslexia so it makes it just hard to read certain things and then plus they're adding on the that lingo of whatnot so it's gonna make it just make my tongue twist a lot so I'm sorry if I like pause this I mean that is calamity cannon I just am like raising my finger all crooked and like shaking 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. You should go to the castle for an, an achievement. It's really cool. Which castle? The Calamity Cannon Castle or the... Castle of the Temple of Time? For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There is... There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will release, unleash the blight upon the land once again. Yes. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I like how whenever I'm talking to anyone, the entire world just pauses. Like we saw the Bob Goblins, they weren't like moving or doing anything, they're just frozen. I must ask, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by giant steep cliffs with no way down. Well, ain't that just completely convenient for story purposes? If you were able to jump off the wall, no death would be most certain or foolish. Hmm. <laughs> of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over! <laughs> oh, certainly, why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. <sighs> always needing something. They always want something. Let's see now. I know. We will give you How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Main quest, the isolated plateau. Come, let me show you something. Look, I'm looking at, uh, up at him like, Daddy? <laughs> Do you love me? Do you enjoy my presence? Can I have your credit card? Boy! <laughs> Do you see the structure there? One shining with a strange light. No. If it's on that thing connects to the TV, you're fine. Okay, good. That's whatever it is at. 
It began glowing at the exact moment the towers arose from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasures for the paraglider is a fair exchange, I believe. You believe? Look at this man. He believes. <laughs> the Oma... Uh, the Oman Ah Shrine. Ah! Ah. Uh, Chica Slate confirmed. Analyzing, analyzing, analyzing. Here's the data from the rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I keep, there's just like this one hair that's bothering me so bad. It's getting in my face. <clears throat> Ooh, what is this place? To who sets foot in this shrine? I, Amu U, in the, the name of the goddess Hylia, offer you a trial. Ooh, a trial, you say? Another data rock! I want the Galaxy S10 Plus, please. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, give me the Galaxy S10 Plus. <gasps> it's coming. It's cut. You broke my phone. You got it wet. <laughs> Manipulate metallic objects with magnetism. That's cool. Use rune. Alright, so these are metallic objects. What am I trying to do? What is the goal of this puzzle? Oh, there's a secret underneath it. Any, like, treasure around here? Oh, yikes. Look at me move the rocks around. <laughs> Yay. Oh, what the heck are you? Whoa! I've destroyed it. Got an ancient spring or something. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm not. No, I'm not. There's a ladder right here. Whoops. I think I just gotta move this like that. Oh, nope, I, I screwed that up. There we go. There's a- I need to get that chest. There's a way to get that chest. The question is, is how we get it. chest I just died what How did you die? I guess the giant metallic object crushed my head we'll try that later
I'm not trying for that freaking chest anymore. The freaking the joystick keeps moving on its own. Blessed with the sight of the goddess. With your arrival, my duty is fulfilled. In the name of, in the name of the goddess, Halia, I allow you to bestow my, this gift upon you. Please accept the spirit orb. Grandma spirits! Obtain! I got a grandma spirit, guys. May the goddess smile upon you. We got a god, we got a grandma spirit. Mama, ba, ba. got a grandma spirit. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. Now I get the paraglider, old man. It seems like you managed to get your hands on the spirit orb. Well done. Paraglider, please. <laughs> I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courageous friend. This appearance of those towers are the awakening of the stride. Hmm. It all connects to that Sheikah slate. Yeah, uh, the, the Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. Oh. It's been quite ta some time since I've seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved the kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I see, believe there are three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasures from each of the shrines and I will give you the parada paraglider. I said treasure, but I never said there would be only one treasure. Whatever it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young man, young go-getter like yourself? Since I'm feeling generous, I will allow also teach you a trick to finding the shrines. Hmm. It's always best to survey the area from looking from a high point. Let's see. Got it. Go to the tower. Look around. Find the shrines. Hmm. See the blue icons. You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantaneously to any of those places with your Sheikah slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. <laughs> 